Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and I'm so excited for today's video because I was looking forward to this eyeshadow palette for the longest time and I was actually having it in my cart and contemplating picking it because I was impressed with the color scheme. I was super impressed with the way the matte shades and shimmer shades and everything were looking in the tutorials I've watched online. And the product I'm going to be talking about is from Prosh Beauty. This one is their Showstopper eyeshadow palette. Now this eyeshadow palette is said to be a no fallout eyeshadow palette and I kind of agree with the brand on this. This has the most beautiful color scheme first of all. Let me talk about that. Ta -da -da. Just look at that. It is so beautiful. It comes in this really nice sleek cardboard packaging with a nice mirror. Okay, this is very handy. A very clear big mirror where you can like use it for your eyeshadow looks. And this is the beautiful color scheme like I mentioned. It's not just like one theme, you know, it's not just your warm neutral eyeshadow shade. So you get a little bit of like your chrome pinkish kind of shades as well as a little bit of like a cool tone shade and you know, a variety of colors. And now coming to the no fallout claim, I feel like it is so true with this particular eyeshadow palette. So this is what my usage of this palette is like. And I've been dipping into the matte shades. They are the most softest pigmented matte shades and they blend seamlessly on your eyelid. You know, really smooth, really easy to blend. But can you see there's no like kickback when you dip the brush in and also there's no like fallout when you're applying it on your eyelid they have the most amazing blend. So in this video, I've also used their brushes, which I have been using for the longest time, the Prosh Beauty brushes. I have pretty much the entire collection and I have uh, used it and talked about it for the longest time. So I am using those brushes and you get the most amazing blend. It is a pigmented, high quality. And then when it comes to the shimmer shades, I was super impressed, okay? Like just look at the pigmentation of all of these oh my god foily shimmery finish and it just applies really well on the eyelid so i in the tutorial like you're gonna see of course through the course of the video i haven't even like concealed my eyelid because i wanted to show you guys how pigmented and how blendable and seamless these eyeshadows are and these shimmer shades just go on so pigmented they have that metallic finish not dry at all and they are really pigmented and then again i've applied all of these with the brushes and there is no fallout nothing that i can like visibly notice on my face and i'm absolutely loving it i love the look i love the pigmentation of every so this one eyeshadow palette would suffice pretty much okay so let's get into the look and then i will talk to you guys about my final thoughts about this eyeshadow palette so i want to go for like a more warm toned look because is that something that I am personally very fond of on myself. So let's uh, start with this shade that is called Groovy right here. I'll be taking that on the Prosh P07 brush and this is like a more fluffy brush. So I want to apply this shade all over my lid, all over my crease actually as a transition shade. It's like a light peachy kind of a shade and it applies pretty well and pigmented even though it's actually a pretty light shade it does show up on my pigmented eyelid and I haven't even like concealed my lid and then taking this shade called Vigorous in a more precise crease brush like the P24 brush and concentrating it towards my crease okay, this does pull a little bit more pink so I'm going to be taking this shade called Upbeat because I, I am going for a more warm toned look. This brush is pretty precise to apply the color concentrated towards your socket. Taking that previous shade that we took that is groovy and blending it out. One thing I absolutely love is the matte shades are so soft yet they don't really have a lot of fallout and they blend in no time and it's not like it's very hard for you to get a good application. So it's like you can see it doesn't even skip on your eyelid. And then for my outer corner I'm going to be taking this shade called Savage which seems like a kind of dark brown shade kind of mixing that with the shade called gutsy this brush in p08 is actually my favorite brush because it's very very precise when you want to use it and these are the brushes i have been using for the longest time actually more than a year now the matte shades are like super pigmented there's no doubt about that then applying this gold shade called swish applying that on this prosh p11 brush which is a flat shader brush and this it picks up the product just the right amount also you can cut your crease with this it's very precise and this gold it's too good like beautiful just towards the center i'm going to be taking this shade called luscious just to sort of darken the look 
make it a little more bronzy just taking a light dab of the shade gutsy and kind of drawing it towards the inner corner as well like just to intensify the crease a little more now i'm going to be taking this shade black shade called vivid with this uh brush p14 and it's a liner brush and just sort of like slightly lining my eye because this is like a very pigmented black shade that's like a very pigmented black shade in case you were looking for a good liner shade okay and it's so easy with this brush to pretty much tight line so this is the finished look and i absolutely love how this look turned out now coming to this eyeshadow palette itself i'm going to give you guys quick swatches of everything first we have this shade called serene which is like a nice sort of like a bright pink shade but not too neon next one we have is called peppy which is a really nice shimmer rose gold shade then we have a shade called artistic which is a really nice lilac shade which is really nice and pigmented so usually lilac shades are not as pigmented but this one is beautifully pigmented then we have the shade called vigorous which is a brown shade with a little bit of like a pink mauve undertone to it and then we have the shade called glitterati which is like a duochrome pinkish purple kind of a shade it is beautiful and then we have the shade called vivid which is a really nice pigmented black matte black and then we have the shade called groovy which is a light peach kind of a shade then we have the shade called poised again a little bit more of a champagne pink duochrome shade very beautiful and then we have the shade called swank which is more of a red with a little bit of like earthy undertones to it and then we have the shade called swish which is a shimmer shade which is a beautiful gold shimmer shade and then we have snazzy which is again a champagne and then we have savage which is a matte brown deep brown in fact then we have upbeat which is a really nice matte orange shade and then we have the shade called daring which is a more ashy brown shade which works really well for cool toned eye looks as well as like if you want to fill in your eyebrows and then we have the shade called gutsy which is a deep burgundy shade and then we have luscious which is more like a um warm gold shade a deeper bronzy warm gold and then we have high profile which is a subtle mauve shade like a light mauve matte shade and then we have the last one which is called bouncy which is a beautiful deep purple shade so yeah, as you guys saw this is the look that i created i really liked it so i wanted to go for a more warm toned look because i have a couple of other videos to film but if you wanted something a little bit more pink toned and everything you can use these shades and they look so nice on the eyelid like you feel the quality when you use this there's no skipping in the matte shades and it's it's not something that gets patchy at all even the deeper shades and again it's very uh, beginner friendly because when you're starting to use eyeshadows if you have a very dry matte shade it can sometimes ruin the look and it would kind of make you think that you are probably not doing a very good job whereas the issue would probably be with the eyeshadow itself when you have a soft buttery eyeshadow like this one it's a lot more easier like the matte shades and the shimmer shades and everything oh my god i love this one and i absolutely recommend this and and um yeah the lipstick in high tea is what i have on my lips right now i have talked about this so many times these bullet lipsticks are my favorite they have a really nice uh, comfortable matte finish on the lips they go on creamy settle down to a comfortable creamy matte finish and they don't really dry your lips out at all they are pigmented they have a wide variety of shade selection if you wanted to check it out so yeah that's pretty much everything i wanted to talk to you guys about so definitely do check this eyeshadow palette out and if i do have a coupon code i will leave it right here on the screen so that you can shop this with additional discount and i don't think you would be disappointed with this at all so yeah so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one Lose your head.